Tony, I know that you've worked with uh, a number of celebrities. Can you say something about that? Well, obviously, when I've taken people on a one-to-one, -one, confidential basis, I would never repeat anything that they say to me. But I can mention some of the people that have appeared in television programmes, where obviously the public have already seen at least a glimpse into their past lives. I remember the case of John Stapleton, now working for GMTV. Some people may recall him from his days when he worked with his wife on the Watchdog programme for BBC. And when I took John back, something very interesting happened. He was the captain of a ship. And when the ship moored off one of the Greek islands, the crew went to shore. They refused to return. The ship was carrying rice, and the ship was overrun with rats. John O'Malley, as he was previously in his past life, had to get rid of these rats. Now John Stapleton, as he is today, has one fear and one fear only, that is, an incredible fear of rats. And now he understands where that fear came from. It allows him to be more in control of that situation. Another example will be Jonathan Ross's wife, Jane Goldman, who, a few years ago, we did a programme for, and she was a man in her previous existence. She was also on the ship, and her role on that ship was to mend the officers' uniforms. Now today, married to Jonathan, she can afford to shop in the most exclusive dress shops in the world. However, the majority of the clothes she makes herself. And the reason is, it's connected to her past life. Coming more up to date, we have the case of Major James Hewitt, the former lover of Princess Diana. When I regressed him, took him back to his time with her, I discovered that not several years after the marriage had started, but within just a couple of months, he was in fact sleeping with Princess Diana. A fact that he is never mentioned in his books or in the articles, he has always said a period of years had elapsed before his love for Diana had moved to that particular stage. Under hypnosis, you can't lie. So now we know the full truth.